welcome back to the Power of Public YouTube channel. We're back at it in 2020 after a nice Christmas break. Thanks to everybody that subscribed, turned on those notifications, and is following along at home, asking questions in the comment section below. Okay, in today's video, we're gonna be showing you how to bleed the dent brake master cylinder. Now the dent brake's a little bit different to the Tony car. Now we've shown you guys how to do that at home in a couple of videos. You can click those links either here, here, or in the description below. Now on the dent master cylinder, it's more like say a car brake system where you fill the reservoir up, apply the pressure to the pedal, crack the nipples, let the air out, close the nipple off, and then let the pedal off, rinse and repeat. So let's get to it. So a customer bought this card in for its end of year service. Now we've tarted up the engine and we're also gonna fix up the brakes while we're at it. So let's get to it. So the first thing we're gonna do is remove the brake master cylinder reservoir cap. It's got three little screws. One of them's here. To get to these two bolts, just move the brake pedal slightly and pull the lever arm up out of the way. And you're good to go. So now we can remove the reservoir cap and this little rubber guy here. Ew, dirty fluid. You can see that this is is the brake fluid's a little bit dirty. It's got a bit of contamination, so we're gonna get rid of the old brake fluid out of the reservoir, clean this all up. New brake fluid, it's ready to go again for another year. So the first thing we wanna do is remove all the old brake fluid. Now I'm just using a little five mil syringe here, and you can suck up as much of the old fluid and any debris that's in your reservoir with your little syringe. Then with a clean rag, you can just go through and soak up the rest of the brake fluid and contamination. Also too, with your old rag, it's a good idea just to put it up. You're gonna spill a bit of brake fluid and can protect your paint and stop it from dripping on the floor. So we're gonna use the Tony Kart 5.1 racing brake fluid in this here go-kart, but you probably could use a 4.0 or any other 5.1 branded uh, brake fluid. So now one of the main features of the Dent Master Cylinder is the ease of it is to bleed the brake system. So basically what you wanna do is add the pedal pressure first, with an eight millimeter ring spanner, crack off the bleed nipple, release the pressure, close the bleed nipple, then release the pressure off the pedal, just like this. So first up, you wanna apply the brake pedal pressure. Then with the pedal pressure on 100%, we're just gonna crack the bleed nipple and bleed out some fluid. Close the bleed nipple, and now release the brake pedal pressure. Now bleed off the brake fluid into a container. And now it's same for the other side. So that's how you bleed the brake system. Now, what you want to do, this one here especially, it was in for a, uh, say a flush, a brake fl fluid flush. So what you want to do is just keep repeating the same process. Pressure, crack off, bleed the, the fluid through, get the fresh stuff in the system, close the nipple down, and then let the pressure off. Now, once the reservoir goes all the way down, you'll have to stop, and fill it back up, otherwise you're going to suck air. Now, air, is compressible, you don't want any of that in the system. You want the fluid only. And that's another reason why we're doing the brake bleed. Over time, you get air and moisture slowly leak into the system. And that's what leads to a spongy pedal. Okay, so now that we've got a nice firm pedal, you can really feel it if you give it a good squeeze. There's no sponginess, all the air's out of the system. The other thing you wanna take note of is the reservoir level. It will go down as you bleed the, the system through. Now, if it goes too low, it's gonna suck air. You don't want any of that. So make sure every second or third pump, you're just retopping up this with some fresh fluid. So this is the reservoir level. It's probably a little bit low here. So I'm just gonna to top it up with a little bit more fluid, but you don't wanna to go too high so that when you put the cap on, it spills out everywhere. So I'm just gonna to try to get this halfway from where it is now to the top. Just like so. The last thing we're gonna do is reinstall the reservoir cap. Now to do that, you can just move that out of the way with your hand, otherwise push the pedal. Reinstall the screws.
Okay, so that's how you bleed a dent master cylinder. And this is very similar to say some of the carts you'll find. CRG have a reservoir type brake master cylinder. Same do uh, the Burel guys. So some of these other cart brands have the reservoir type master cylinder and that's how you're gonna bleed them the easy way. Thanks to everybody that's been watching and following along, turning on those notifications. It's really important to us. Also too, if you wanna follow along on Instagram and Facebook, you can do that at Power Republic. We can go to our amazing website, www.powerrepublic.com.au. Grab yourself a t-shirt or some racing brake fluid. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.